Hey guys, it is Sunset Sid here, and we are back at it again with another one. <laughs> so, as you guys are looking at me, I know you're like, wow, something looks a little bit off about her. And yes, yes it does, because I don't have on any eyebrows. These are all natural brows, that is, okay? All natural, no nothing. Because today we are back at it again with a highly requested video can you guys guess what it is drum roll please it is a eyebrow tutorial now i get this question thousands of times a day okay so let's not even talk about how many times a week okay i get this question when i'm at work oh my god your eyebrows they look so good oh my god they look so so full so thick but not too thick they look so natural are they microbladed no they are not microbladed yet Honestly, that's like my 2020 goal to get my brows microbladed because I'm not going to lie, y'all. Having to spend the 15 minutes that I do on my brows, I mean, when I can just wake up with my lashes, put a little lip on and go, that would make my entire day. But in the meantime, we are going to get into this eyebrow tutorial. Are you guys ready? I never knew how crazy I looked without eyebrows. And could you guys imagine that like back in the day, this was the trend? Like super natural little baby eyebrows. Like I real life used to have my mom thread and wax mine so skinny. But they had a super perfect arch. You know, don't even try me like that. They had a great arch, but y'all, they were like like not even there like if you blink twice it's like hey where's the eyebrows did i miss them so people look so strange without brows well i can't speak for y'all but i know i look crazy so let's get into this tutorial guys if you guys have any questions comments if you guys want to let me know down in the comment section below also let me know what other videos you guys would like to see as you guys see i have braids in if you guys would like a tutorial or how i do my bun or anything else like that let your girl know oh Okay, I am taking special requests. Okay, dang, where's my wine? I lost my wine. I wanted to do my tutorial with my wine because your girl is off today, so I need me a little drink, but I can't find it. So whatever, let's get into this tutorial, okay guys? So for this tutorial, you are going to need, well, I don't know what you're gonna need, but I'm gonna let you know what I use, and this is what gets my brows looking like. Dang, girl, who is that? Okay, superstar, supermodel girl. I use Anastasia Beverly Hills, okay? It is a dip brow pomade. I use the color chocolate. I think at one point in life, I was making my brows too thin and too light and i noticed that i was using the color auburn and auburn looked okay going on but like as you like you know went throughout the day you start to sweat and the different moisture in your face once it all started to mix my eyebrows started to look kind of ashy if that even makes sense so now for quite a couple years i've been using the color chocolate and it is perfect not too dark not too light but of course it all depends on what type of hand you have sometimes i have a little bit of a heavier hand than normal so of course my brows look a little bit thick but that's where your spoolie brush comes in to kind of brush them out and thin them out and kind of soften the color a little bit now for concealer around my brows to really give me that dang girl arch i go for nars now i absolutely love nars i really wish that nars had a foundation that was the same consistency as the concealer because i absolutely love this now i am the color medium dark three amande they have a medium dark four they have a dark a light and medium you really have to just go into sephora and have the sephora girl like you know skin skin color match your complexion did that make sense match your skin color complexion <laughs> you guys get what i'm saying so these are my two go-to products that i use for my brows and i'm at the point guys where i literally can do my brows in like seven minutes okay no lie i absolutely love these two products let me know if you guys use these products too or if you ever have or if you want to try it out i get them from sephora the dip brow is around 20 dollars and the nars concealer is around the same but don't quote me so just look on sephora or ulta either or has them both but not only is it about the product, but it is about the brush that you use, okay? Now, I've used a few different kinds of brushes in my lifetime, okay? Back in the day when I didn't have the best brows, and now when I think that I have pretty good brows. So this is the brow brush that comes, well, it does not come with the Anastasia Beverly Hills, but they recommend using these two together. I think it is the brush number 12. 
I'm gonna look that up when I get done. I believe it's the brush number 12. It comes with it. I like this one because it is shorter. They have a longer one, but if you guys look closely, you'll see that it is a angled brush. And it really helps with the angle of the eyebrow, as you'll see later on. And then the other end has a spoolie. So you remember when I was saying how sometimes my brows are a little bit darker than normal if they are darker than normal or you just don't like how they look just use the end of your spoolie and just literally just kind of brush them up to kind of brush some of the color away from it you know another favorite brush of mine to do my eyebrows is my Morphe brush I absolutely love this one on the brush it is the M421 okay it is a concealer brush I absolutely love this one I'm a little bit ashy while I'm showing you guys my hands. Can your girl get some lotion or something? <laughs> but I absolutely love this brush now. This helps my concealer go on like a dream. It always feels so, so good when I use this brush. Y'all, this brush literally is like 5 to $6. I've used more expensive brushes and the, the bristles were just breaking and all on your face when you got done. And it just was not a pretty sight. So I absolutely love this brush to use along with my NARS. And then I love this one to use along with my Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, so now that we've all talked about brushes and products, let's get down to it. So I usually start by brushing my eyebrows up just so we can see what exactly it is that we're working with. This is how the product looks. It's brand new. I actually just got this pot. One pot usually lasts me, guys, for like eight months, if that. Probably a little bit longer, honestly. I go in with just a little bit of product. Now, I usually use the lid to kind of take off some of the product if it seems like it's a little bit too much for me. And I usually just go in making an arch with my eyebrow. I usually like to go with the natural arch of my eyebrow and not do anything too too crazy and even if it does not look as perfect as it will in the end it's okay because this is really just a rough draft to kind of see if that brow shape works for you and don't forget brows are supposed to be sisters not twins okay so it's okay if one looks a little bit weird or thicker especially in the beginning stages because we're going to go in with our concealer in a few minutes to ensure that they are perfectly shaped so this is one brow as you guys see it's really not that difficult well for me like i said i usually go in with my concealer dab it on just a little bit and then i go in with the top of it and I just kind of damp some of it off because sometimes it's a little too thick but I do want a very very precise line so I go by I start by drawing a line at the bottom a perfect straight line and then I go with the arch of my eyebrow as you guys can see this is the bottom of it and then I usually take my my angle brush and I brush up like little hair strokes After I've done my hair strokes, I then go toward the top and I draw a nice line at the top as well. Now you don't want it to look too fake and too tar too cartoonish, of course. So kind of just do what works for you with the shape of your eyebrow. As you guys can see, nice and cute, but look at that beginning. Now, I don't like my beginning to be too boxy and too square, so I usually go toward the beginning again. I take my brush that already has product on it, and I take some of the product off. And then I use my angle brush, and I just push my brow hairs together like so. Kind of like painting a picture versus drawing a picture.
Now, as you guys can see, I kind of look like a completely different person, just a little. So now that they look okay to me, I'm gonna go in with my concealer to really clean them up. So I'm gonna take my Morphe brush and I'm gonna take my NARS concealer in medium dark four. I'm gonna dab just a little bit. As you guys can see, my pot has been used quite some time. I'm gonna take my brush, dab a little bit, and I'm gonna trace the bottom line of my eyebrow, arch and all, okay? After I've traced the bottom, I'm gonna then take my brush and blend in that concealer all the way down toward my eyelid because what I don't want is a perfect line from my eyebrows. I don't like that in pictures, especially if you use flash. I don't like it to be too, too bright. So I like to blend it in so that it's just one continuation of color from my eyebrow, concealer, and my eyelid. And then of course it makes it easier and more per perfect when you go in and you do some eyeshadow. And then I used to go in, I usually go in with my finger and just kind of blend it out to just ensure. Now it's time to do the top. I just trace the top of my brow. And then I usually blend in the concealer toward the top of my eyebrow. And then of course my forehead because what I don't want is that super stark line from where one thing begins to where the other thing ends. What a difference a, a clean up eyebrow looks. Look at that one. This one looks so much more clean in comparison to that one. This is so funny. First of all, what a difference an eyebrow makes in the face because I look like a completely different person already. And my other brow is not even done and perfect, okay? Now, I am a stickler for a nice sharp tail on my eyebrow. I don't like a super thick tail on my eyebrow. I like it to be sharp and pointy. So at that point, I just take my concealer again and that's when I really go in to clean up the bottom of that brow to make sure that it's nice and sharp and pointy. I'm feeling kind of cute already. 